Did you ever ask yourself how much of your daily work you spend just by looking for the information or objects you need to do your job, or by correcting errors and reworking what has already been done? Or did you ask yourself how much of the work you do is actually valued and prized by the customer? Research shows that in a normal office process about 80% of the working time spent does not add value from the client's point of view. Maybe you found that little scene just now amusing. But do you sometimes have the feeling that your working day is a fight against the clock, where you continually have to do things that don't bring you any closer to your goal of satisfying your client? Wouldn't you like it if things were different? If you could remove all of the obstacles getting in the way of doing your job, and spend more time creating value for your customer? This video will show you a way how to do this. And it all begins in Japan, where in the 1940s carmaker Toyota pioneered a new way of thinking called Toyota Production System, or Lean Production, as it was later to become known. Lean production is the driving force behind Toyota's incredible success in the car making industry and is now being implemented across all business sectors in services as well as in manufacturing. One of the main things that Toyota have taught us is to distinguish between value adding time, time when value is being added to the service you're providing to your client, and waste when it isn't. Lean is about focusing on value creation and minimizing or entirely eliminating waste. And now we'll see some examples of how this can be done. Have you ever thought of the amount of time you spend looking for things like files, documents, business cards and so on? In fact, lack of order and organization is a major source of waste in most offices. Now, Lean offers a proven method of creating and sustaining order and tidiness called 5S. Five S consists of five simple steps. One, sort. Remove from your workplace all the items you do not use on a daily basis. Two, straighten. Make sure that the remaining things are organized in such a way that you can easily find them and that you can see if anything is missing. Three, shine. Clean and tidy up your workplace. 4. Standardize. Make a visual standard so that you can easily compare the actual state with the desired state. 5. Sustain. Create a system to follow up and keep your standard up to date. 'Following this simple procedure will make your daily work much more efficient and pleasant. What's more, this method can be used in all parts of the office, even in the lunch room. Do you know what's going on in your office? How well or badly you are doing compared to your targets, where to put your efforts, or where there might be problems that require your immediate attention? In fact, most organizations don't, because this information is either lost in the clutter or presented in such a way that nobody can access it or understand it. Lean teaches us to be as visual as possible in order to know what's going on and to detect problems early on. Charts like these, displayed so that everyone sees them daily, are a good way of keeping track of progress. Also, we should monitor our progress and compare it to our targets on a regular basis to know whether we're doing okay or if there's a problem that needs to be attended to. Kaizen, or continuous improvement, is another main pillar of lean thinking. The idea is that every day we should reflect on how we can do things a little bit better than the day before. No improvement is too simple or too small, because in the long run they'll add up to a really huge difference. 
As you can see, our lean way of continuous improvement soon overtakes the traditional way of stepwise improvement. The most powerful way of running continuous improvements is by having improvement groups that meet regularly to address and to solve problems. This is not only efficient, but it's also a rewarding way of using your creativity together with your colleagues. To standardize work may sound boring, but is in fact necessary for eliminating waste, particularly if more than one person is involved in the task. For instance, think of the interactions you have with clients or other network officers concerning partnership proposals or EOIs, and how much that could be gained by standardizing the format of communication, the quality level, the content, and so on. In fact, standardization is also a prerequisite for improvement, since we need to agree on how a task should be carried out before we can actually start improving it. Now let me tell you how the Lean TT team project has provided you with a means to start applying lean thinking within the Enterprise Europe network. In the project, we studied and mapped the major technology transfer processes that go on in the network. Let's have a look at the value stream maps. This is what it looks like before improvement, the current state map. And then we made a map of a future lean state, which shows that we can have significant improvements in speed, quality and productivity over the current state. We have developed more than 20 actions and tools that you can use as a part of your own Lean program. All this and more has been gathered in the Lean TTT learning package that's available for you today. It's high time for the Enterprise Europe Network to start thinking Lean. By starting to think lean and by using some simple tools, you may be able to reverse the proportions of waste and value. Think of what that could mean to your results and satisfaction at work. There isn't much left to say. Just pick up the Lean TTT learning package today and start practicing it. I can guarantee that you will notice the difference. It's that simple.